guys, good morning. My name is Courtney and we're about to get started with yoga class. Um, as always, you can Venmo us if you enjoyed the class. Everything, um, all the donations for August are going towards Project to Heal. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started because I want this class to be a little bit quicker. We're going to work on our shoulders, neck, and upper back today. We'll also do some leg stretches as well. So uh, I'm going to get the music started up. As you know, the babies are here. I feel like I always have to warn you <laughs> in case they start doing something crazy, but that's life. We're all doing yoga at home right now, so I'm glad you're here. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started on the floor. Easy pose, so just a comfortable seated position. One leg in front of the other will work great. I'm going to get the music started up, okay? All right, guys, so easy pose. Grounding the sit bones down. Right leg could be in front of the left or vice versa. Wherever you're at, just remember because we'll switch them. Beautiful. First to get started, we're going to ground ourselves down, find ourselves in a place of mindfulness and just being present and where we're at right now. I only have you guys for a few moments, so I just want you to be aware of your surroundings. If there's any outdoor, outside noises, don't worry about it. Just kind of let it come and go. Don't get distracted. But yeah, we'll get started with the Ujjayi breathing, which is breathing in and out through the nose. So if you can, you can soften your face or close your eyes. Either way, take a in, deep inhale in through the nose. A slow long exhale out through the nose letting all the air escape from the body and another deep breath in and slow exhale out and while we're here you can focus on an intention or maybe an affirmation anything you're in need of but don't overthink it just find something that's going to help get you through this next 30 minutes here. Beautiful. On your next exhale, release the hands down by the sides. We're going to reach our left hand out a little bit further on our left side. Inhale the right hand up. And exhale to lean over to the left side. Maybe the elbow bends. And it comes down to the ground and we come all the way. And again, just finding deep breath here. Just opening up the right side body. Inhale back to center. Exhale the right hand down behind us. Inhale the left hand up. And exhale over to the right this time. And again, maybe the right elbow rests on the ground. If not, just keep leaning. Remembering to keep that left sit bone anchor down inhale back to center both hands come up this time twisting to the left right hand falls on the left knee left hand falls behind us as we just look over the left shoulder get a nice spinal twist here remembering not to cave these shoulders keeping the chest nice and open and just focusing on our breath Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, to twist to the right. This time our right hand falls behind, left hand on the right knee. And again, just trying to look over to the back wall or maybe over the right shoulder. And with every exhale, we just release a little more. Inhale, back to center, both hands up. Exhale to fall forward here, hinging from the hips, reaching the hands out, elbows, maybe wrists on the ground, or go as far as you like, maybe even bringing the forehead to the mat. Inhale to rise, walking the hands towards the body. This time we're going to switch. So whatever foot you have behind, we're going to bring it out in front. 
still an easy pose here. And again, grounding the sit bones down. Inhale, the arms come out and up. Exhale to fold forward. Again, finding that nice spot of ease and a little discomfort. Maybe eventually resting the forehead down. breaths here. Don't hold your breath. Don't shallow your breathing. And when you're ready, walk the hands back towards the body. Beautiful. From here again, we're going to plant our right hand on the right side. Inhale the left hand up. And this time we're going to bend up the elbow, letting the left hand fall on the right side of the head. And we're just going to lightly twist our head or turn our head to the left. I'm not pulling a lot here. As you see, I can release and my head stays the same. It's just to add a little bit of pressure. And if you like to, you can maybe start to inch or walk the fingers further to the right or maybe even further behind you. So find that you can play around with this. You're feeling this in the sternoflatomastoid all the way in you might even be able to feel it all the way down through the right arm. Again, just focus on your breathing. Don't hold your breath. Then release the left hand on the inhale. Rise and exhale. Let the left hand come over and rest on the left side. Inhale the right hand up. And Bending at the elbow, let the hand fall on the left side, and we exhale, and just lean to the right. Again, go easy, trust yourself, don't, you know, crack your neck <laughs> while you're trying to do this. Just find that stretch, see what feels good. Again, maybe walking the fingers further out to the left side. Taking deep breaths. This is a great pose to do, especially if you've been sitting at a desk or just sitting around for a little bit, punched over. You can also hold these for a little longer and continue to go back and forth, doing a couple reps. And then we'll inhale our right hand up, coming back to center, and release the right hand down by the side. This time we're going to take our right hand behind our back. Beautiful. And then we're going to take our left hand and we're going to turn our head to the off stretch. So turn our head to the left. So I'm going to keep twisting around so you guys can see what's going on. Look to the left. So I'm looking at my left arm. And then I'm just going to slowly use my left hand to just point my head down to where I'm staring, just right underneath my armpit. Holding this for a few moments, so take some deep breaths here. I'll release my hand first, then let my head rise. Beautiful. This time, left hand comes behind the back. Inhale the right hand up. We're going to look towards the right and again place our hand on the back of the head. And again, just pulling down, looking towards the right armpit here. Breathe. And then inhale to release the hand coming back to center. Release it down. Good job, guys. And then from here, just inhale the shoulders up. Exhale them down the back side of the body. Inhale up. Exhale down and back. Do a couple more of these. And then we'll do some circles. So we'll start, we'll look over toward the right shoulder. And then on the exhale, bring the chin down across the chest, over to the left side, looking over to the left. Inhale. Exhale, lower it down, going across the chest for the right side. Now we'll do one more coming around. This time doing a full circle. Remembering to keep the shoulders down away from the ears. 
Inhale to come up, we'll pause, and we'll exhale to the other side. So even if you were a little confused because it is confusing with the camera facing me, just make sure to do both sides. So going in one direction and then the other. Beautiful, and then we'll pause. Excellent. So now guys, we're gonna come onto our hands, knees underneath the hips, fingers spread wide, wrists under the shoulders, pressing the tops of the feet into the mat. We'll go into some cat cows. On the inhale, raise the chest, raise the tailbone, drop the spine. Exhale to tuck the tailbone around the spine, drop the head, really press away from the mat here. Inhale to come out. And exhale. Do a couple more of these on your own breath. This is great for the whole spine. So find some fluidity, some movement here, maybe making little circles. Side to side, shake the hips, whatever feels good. We're gonna look over the right shoulder, draw the right hip in, and look back. And then coming back to center, exhale, looking over the left shoulder, drawing the left hip in. And back to center. Now we're gonna thread the needle. So inhale, right hand comes out and up, looking up. Exhale, thread it in between the left wrist, left knee, dropping the right shoulder down. Resting the head onto the mat. Now you can reach your left hand forward if you like, or if you like a nice chest opener and another little shoulder stretch, you can bind the left hand behind the back. It's up to you wherever you're at with your practice or whatever you feel like doing today. tabletop. Good job, guys. Inhale the left hand out and up. Exhale it through the right wrist, right knee, dropping the left shoulder down, resting it down. Again, maybe you like to reach your right hand out in front of you. You could even raise the palm, standing on the fingertips. Or again, if you'd like to take a bind, just reaching the right hand, bending at the elbow behind the back. hand closer to the face, press away from the mat, come back again, neutral tabletop. From here guys, we're going to tuck the toes and the hips back, come into downward dog, walk it out. This is our first downward dog, so check in with your body, see what feels tight. And you can gaze towards the hands, we're going to take tiny steps towards our hands. So we come all the way back up to the top of our mat. We're going to heel toe our feet a little wider apart. Inhale, halfway lift, both hands on the shins looking forward. Exhale, grabbing onto opposite elbows, hinge from the hips, and fold. Relax the head, relax the neck, relax the upper back. Now we can shake side to side. Make sure to have a nice, generous bend to the knees. And you can just rock side to side. Shake the head, yes and no. And from here, we're going to release the hands down. We're going to roll up one vertebrae at a time, just nice and slow, nice and easy. So we come all the way to standing. Take your time with this. We're going to bring the feet in six inches to hip width apart, grounding the feet down all four corners, grounding through the ground, shoulders back and down, palms out, fingers spread wide. Find your breath here. We'll stand just for a moment in Tadasana. Inhale, arms come out and up. 
Maybe a little back bend if you like. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. This time we're going to bend the right knee, plant the right hand down. Inhale, the left hand up, looking up. And the goal of this pose is not really to see how far you can reach your hand down. It's to keep this left leg straight. So if you can't quite get there with the right hand, you can also use a water bottle, a block, anything that you can to lift yourself up so you can still keep that length. And then eventually you can work your way down to the ground. We're gonna feel this on the left side of that left leg. And we're just looking up at our left hand. And we'll switch. So dropping the left hand, bending the left knee, Raising the right hand and again, keeping that right leg straight. Now we'll exhale the right hand down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reach the arms out and up, reaching up. Exhale, hands at heart. Good job, guys. We're going to place our left hand on our hip. Inhale, the right hand up. And exhale to fold to the left, keeping both feet grounded down. So really secure that right foot. Just opening the right side body. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, the right hand onto the right hip. Inhale, the left hand up, and exhale over to the right side this time. Again, keeping both feet planted. This isn't about as, how far over it can get. It's really more of an up and over motion. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, the left hand down onto the hip. From here, guys, we're going to place both hands on the back of our hips. Now we're just going to do like a standing little back bend here. So just supporting the lower back, looking back, or looking up, not really looking back. If you can do that, that's pretty impressive. Inhale to come forward. Beautiful. Inhale, arms come out and up. Little back bend if you like. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, planting both hands with the mat, stepping back, high plank. And high plank, make sure to shift your weight forward. Keep the elbows tucked in close by the sides. We're going to lower down all the way onto our stomach. So keep it low, 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 go, go, go. And then come all the way down. Beautiful. From here, guys, right hand comes out to the right side. Hopefully you can still see. I'm pretty long, so I know I'm going to get cut off at some point. <laughs> We're going to use our left hand to roll over onto the right side body. And you can hang out here if you like. Again, we're trying to keep the head up, keep the spine neutral. Because we, we drop our head, we kind of get this crick in our neck. So keeping the head up and steady. If you're not quite feeling as intense here, you can also bend the left knee, bring the left foot onto the ground. Another good one for a chest opener is to reach the left hand behind and to do a nice little clasp here. This is pretty intense. So if you want to try, go for it, but don't force anything that doesn't want to happen. And again, if you're still not feeling this, you can bring the right knee to meet the left. And this is a pretty intense version. If you, this is your first time doing these intense poses, just remember to take your time, maybe move around. So adjusting as you need to, and you can always roll back onto your stomach when you're ready. shoulder this time left hand comes out to the left side and again pressing away from the ground with our right hand we'll roll into the left side body and again maybe starting out here just on the left side and whenever you're ready you can bend that right knee plant the left foot or excuse me the left the right foot down <laughs> or if you want to try for that class on this side every side's different 
when it comes to these intense poses. Or maybe you're feeling looser on the side and you want to bring the left knee to meet the right. going to bring the knees down and shift the hips back. Good job, guys. From here, we're going to reach our hands out for a nice little puppy press here. So puppy press can be a little intense as well, but it's up to you. You can actually just rest the forehead on the mat. If you don't want it to be as intense, you can tuck the toes under if you like. Or if you want a more intense version, resting the chin onto the mat. And again, we'll be here for just a few moments. You might hear my husband change the record. <laughs> then coming back onto the hands here, both hands underneath. We'll do a closed knee child's pose, so knees together. Bringing the arms down by the sides. We're gonna actually draw the chin into the chest, resting the top of the head onto the mat. Finding our breath here. Then coming back onto the hands, tabletop pose. Tuck the toes under, send the hips back, downward dog, walk it out. From here, gazing towards the hands, bend the knees. You can walk, step, or hop towards the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reach the arms out and up. Exhale, hands at heart. Good job, guys. From here, we're going to place both hands on our hips. We're actually going to take about a, as, far as, a, as far back as we can take that right foot. And we're going to rotate so we're parallel with our mat. Toes are facing in slightly unless you're pregnant. We're going to clasp our hands behind our back, drawing the knuckles down but away from the body, looking up. Just taking a deep breath in here. And then on the exhale, we're going to fold forward. Keep trying to keep the palms together. And you can always readjust your stance by heel toeing your feet further apart or bringing them in. Wherever you're at, any kind of adjustments you need, feel free. From here, we're going to unclasp our hands, bringing our hands down to the middle of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. We're going to keep our right hand planted. Inhale, the left hand up, looking up. Just going to get a nice little inner thigh stretch here. Should feel this one on the right leg. And we'll exhale the left hand down. Inhale the right hand up, looking up. And exhale it down. Good job, guys. From here, you can take your two peace sign fingers or just the first two fingers of each hand and wrap them around the big toes, pointing the elbows out and just letting the head fall, hinge from the hips if you'd like. You can also have a nice bend to the knees here, just depending on how tight your hamstrings are feeling today.
inhale, halfway lift. Beautiful. From here, we're going to actually place both hands onto the hips. Inhale to come up nice and slow. Excellent. Rotating our feet towards the front of the mat, stepping forward. Excellent. Tadasana. Inhale, arms come out and up. Little back bend if you like. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping back, high plank. Lower down slowly, chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, tuck the toes, shift the hips back, downward dog. Very good. We're going to raise the right leg up high, bending at the knee, let the ankle fall to the left. Maybe if you feel like you're doing some little ankle twist here, just make sure to do the opposite side. Then bring the knee into the chest with the foot fall between the hands. We're going to press up, scooping the ground, crescent lunge. Beautiful. From here again, cactus the arms on the back side of the body. Scoop the ground. Inhale. Exhale. Now the back side of the body. Inhale to scoop the ground. One last time. Exhale. Cactus the arms down. And come back up. Beautiful. From here, we're going to release our hands, clasping them behind our back. Maybe widening our stance if you need to. Exhale, fold forward. Then releasing our clasped hands, bringing the hands down on the opposite sides of the feet, dropping the left knee down, untucking the left toes. Good job. From here, we're actually going to plant the left hand down. Inhale the right hand back all the way. Just reach back. If you want to challenge yourself, you can reach for that back foot. Excellent. We had to give some le our legs some love today as well. It's a great quad stretch. And bringing the hand up and over. And again, we'll do this low lunge for just a little bit here. Not as long as we're used to holding it in some of my classes. So it's fine if you want to clasp the hands, have them go into the ground, or if you need to get lower, you can place the palms down or the elbows, just depending on where you're at today. We'll be here for a couple more breaths. back onto our hands if you're down on your elbows. Coming back up, we're going to shift our hips back, straightening out the right leg, letting that foot scoot forward just a little bit for our half split here. So inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. And again, if you like a nice calf stretch, you can put that right hand on the outside of the right foot. Release, shifting our weight forward. This time, tucking the toes, shifting the hips back. Downward dog, walk it out. Left leg comes up high. Bending at the knee, let the ankle fall to the right. And again, maybe doing some ankle twist here. Bring the knee into the chest, the foot fall between the hands. We're going to press up, crescent lunge. From here, guys, take an inhale in. Exhale the elbows on the back side of the body. Inhale to scoop up. Exhale, back side of the body. Inhale to scoop up. One last time. Exhale the elbows back and down. Inhale to scoop, scoop it up. And then we're going to bring our hands down to clasp them behind our back. Pointing down, looking up, and then exhale to fold. And releasing our grip, bringing both hands to the outsides of the left foot, dropping that right knee down, 
We're going to plant our right hand on the inside of the left foot. Inhale, the left hand up and back, reaching back. And again, if you'd like to try to challenge yourself today, you can reach for that back foot. Inhale, the left hand up and over, coming back and again, finding a nice little comfortable spot. And also, we just want to watch this front knee, make sure we're not going past the ankle. I see a lot of people that like to try to get low. Hang on, let me scoot back so I can actually see. A lot of people try to get, seem to get lower, so they go, their knee goes past the ankle. That's not the goal. That's whenever injuries happen. So try to keep that, everything at a 90 degree angle here. And if you feel like you want to go lower, you can always scoot your foot forward to give you that leeway to come forward onto the hands or onto the elbows. So we'll just be here for a few moments. Focus on your breathing, focus on your breath. to our hands and again we're going to shift our hips back straightening out this left leg letting the left toes come up off the mat and maybe scooting that heel forward slightly again lengthening so inhale to lengthen exhale to fold and again if you'd like a nice calf stretch you can reach from that left hand on the outside of the left foot Both hands can be on the ankles or the tops of the feet, and it's up to you. You can play around with scooting the heels closer to the body or further away into more of a diamond shape. It's up to you. Wherever you're at, take a nice deep inhale, rise up, and exhale to fall, pressing the elbows into the thighs, just reaching forward, reaching the chest forward or the heart forward. Coming back up, soles of the feet onto the mat, bending at the knees. We're going to bring ourselves all the way back onto our backs here for our bridge variations. So hands are down by the sides, fingers are almost touching the heels. We're not going to use our hands to press into the mat. Inhale, raise the hips up, coming up, and maybe if you like to, you can clasp the hands behind the back. Or feel free to keep the hands down by the sides. And when you clasp your hands, you just tend to come a little bit more onto the shoulders. Feel like you can get a little bit more height here. And we'll release our clasps, exhaling the hips down. If you have will in your practice and you would like to go into will, feel free. If not, you can still clasp your hands or grab onto your ankles. Whichever one you like to do, either way, inhale, hips come up. the 
hips down, drawing the knees into the chest, giving yourself a nice hug, squeeze. And we're gonna cactus the arms out. So we have 90 degree angles for each arm, keeping the knees bent. We're just gonna let the knees fall to the right side while you look over to the left. Take a couple deep breaths here. Coming back to center, bringing the knees back into the chest and exhale over to the left side. Bobby, look at the right. And inhale back to center. This time grabbing onto the outsides of the feet with both hands and draw, drawing the knees into the armpits for happy baby. Again, try to keep that lower back pressed against the mat. It's okay if you want to rock side to side. I just see a lot of people that end up punching back like this, but really it's wanting to press that low back into the mat. the head, let your breathing return to normal, relax the face and the jaw, melt the body into the ground, and focus back on your intention or affirmation. continue to stay in Shavasana. As y'all know, doing it live <laughs> is not as fun for me. <laughs> so I definitely recommend at least five to 10 minutes of Shavasana if you can. If, you're, if you don't feel like doing it though, you can bring the knees to the right and the left side. Relax the head. Just make sure to come up nice and slow. Don't just jump up. Just nice slow movements here to come up. I just want to thank you guys again for joining me here and also give yourself a, a hug for showing up onto your mat. It's really hard these days with having to do online yoga or even just showing up to a class uh, if it's outdoors or not. So I hope you're taking care of yourself. I hope this class helps and as always you can send me recommendations for any parts of the body you're wanting to get worked out or maybe you're having some issues with. Uh, but yeah, you guys know uh, donations can go to Venmo, Noda Hop Yoga, um, they're, they're all for this month going towards Project to Heal, so check them out as well, and I hope you have a great rest of your Sunday and a wonderful rest of your week. And to let you guys know, this uh, what was playing in the background today was Pax Wildflower. I love this album a lot, especially to do yoga towards. It's just nice ambient music, kind of makes me feel like I'm at the beach. But uh, And as you know, support local, Tip Top, Lunchbox Records, wherever you're thinking about getting some records out. Those are the best. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else. <laughs> I feel like I always forget. And don't forget, Nota Brewing's open right now. Run Club started back. Hopefully we'll be able to start back soon. I promise I'll let you guys know as soon as possible. Also, don't forget, I still have the August challenge going. So send me a picture, a video of you doing yoga, just so I can see you guys for a change. And um, let me know why you started with yoga. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> why you started why you got started with yoga. Ugh. All right, guys, I need some coffee. <laughs> All right, love you all. Have a great rest of your week. Bye.